Well, good evening, fellow investors. This is Joe Grinder from InvestorsHelp.net. Today, in fact, this evening, it's Sunday evening. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful weekend. I want to get this video out before the new week starts. This is the first time I'll be putting out a video on IPOs, Initial Public Offerings, One Profits. I'm sure we all do. So hopefully you'll enjoy. This is a somewhat short video this evening. However, I do have possible plans to prepare a longer video for you. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you to do your own research. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. I assume that most of you know what an IPO is. It's an initial public offering. And as you probably know, it is the first sale of stock, by, usually by a private company to the public. These IPOs are usually uh, issued by smaller, younger companies. In lieu of seeking debt, what they do, they issue stock in the company and that way they get additional funds for expansion purposes or to pay off existing debt. They all, an IPO can also be used by a larger privately owned company and similar to an IPO is a secondary offering. However, it's different in that it's not the initial, it's not the first offering by the company and a secondary offering usually takes place when an existing officer of the company wants to sell some of their shares in the company. We refer to that as a secondary public offering. One of the most important people in the process of issuing an IPO, of course, is the underwriting firm. These are larger uh, underwriting firms, as you're going to see here in just a few minutes. Their major job is to determine what is the type of security to issue. In other words, should it be common stock or should it be preferred stock? What is the best offering price for the particular company? And when is the best time to bring the new offering to the market? This is very important and as the market goes up, which we've seen for several months now, you'll start to see more IPOs being issued. When the market is going down, the IPO market dries up, which we've seen several times in the last few years. An IPO is also referred to as a public offering. I found a very, uh, very good yet simple uh, video that explains what an IPO is. So instead of me repeating all of that in my video, I suggest you go right here to www.investopedia.com video play initial public offering. You may have to copy and paste that URL into your browser. The big question is, would you like a video on how to profit using IPOs? Stay tuned because in the next few slides I'm going to ask that question and give you a way to perhaps get a video on how to profit using IPOs. Before I explain how you can get that how to make profit video, let's take a look at current IPOs that are awaiting, that are in filing awaiting pricing. In other words, these IPOs will be priced in the very near future. This I extracted from my weekend edition of the, of the Investor's Business Daily, which is an excellent newspaper. I've been using it for many years. In fact, that makes me, uh, that reminds me, in some of my videos for the IBD meetup group in Sunnyvale, the last one I think was on 1016, and the one, or was it 1023, and then the earlier one in, um, in October, during the Sunnyvale IBD meeting, uh, Ashish Dabi 
does review some IPOs. So if you're interested in more information on IPOs, check out IBD Ashish Divi and also the IBD Sunnyvale Meetup 1023. I have so many videos out there it's hard to remember the exact dates. But anyway, these are awaiting pricing. As you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It looks like 11. These are the anticipated shares. The current estimated price is shown in this column. The market value is shown here. The industry group, so you can get an idea. In fact, what you can do, you can see, take these industry groups and then go against the IBD industry group listing and see how strong this current industry group is in, um, in uh, the IBD listing of industry groups. Gives the uh, PE ratios and also the lead underwriters. As I mentioned to you uh, a minute ago, underwriters such as these large companies here are very important in the process uh, helping a smaller company or a larger company go public for the first time. Okay, the next listing I have here are the IPOs that were issued that became public in October 2013. It looks like we have about 20 or so companies, new IPOs during October. Here's the symbol for these 20 companies, which exchange the New York, the NASDAQ stock exchange are shown here. The offer date when they became public, the filing price is shown here, the offer price is shown here. In other words, there's sometimes a difference between what the filing price is at the the anticipated price for the uh, the the new IPO and the actual offer price when it became public. Frequently, this number is larger, but as you can see here, these two are larger. This one was down; it's 25 percent change from the filing. So the offer price was twelve dollars. The high filing price. Uh, was 16. So it tells us the company wanted to take, and the underwriter of course, wanted to take the stock public at 16, but the best offer they could get was $12. The change since the filing was down 25%. The current price is $13.90, and that is a change of 15.9% from the offer price. So looking down this column, you can see that these here are higher. The current price of 25 is 47% higher than the offer price. You can look further down this column. Percentage change from the filing on several of these was less. The offer price was less than the filing price. However, most of these, the change from the offer when it initially came public is higher. In fact, look at this one here. VJet would have made a 161% profit if you had been able to get it at the offer price of $13. Most of the time, though, unless you are a preferred customer of a large brokerage firm, you cannot get the uh, offer pre-IPO, so you would not have realized that amount of profit. So what I would encourage you to do, also look here at the industry group, so you can see which industry groups have been doing quite well with these IPOs during October, and these are the lead underwriters. In this video, since I'm trying to keep it short, I'm not going to go into any detail. We're not going to look at the uh, chart patterns and um, what happened since their initial public offering. I may do that in the next video I'm going to tell you about now, but I'm not going to do it in this video. 
Would you like to learn how to profit from IPOs? If you're like me, I'm a happy camper when I profit from IPOs. Back in the 1999, early 2000, when I was a full-time day trader, we made a lot of money, you know, thousands of dollars very quickly off of, off of IPOs. However, they are quite different than a regular investment or a trade. They're their own unique animal, I like to say. The problem is right now, I don't know if we have any interest out there among my viewers and subscribers who would like to know more about IPOs and how to profit buying IPOs. So since I don't know this, I'm going to come to each and every one of you and ask you if you have any interest in learning more about IPOs. If there is sufficient interest, if you guys want a video on this subject. I'll go ahead and put one together based upon my many years of experience and make it available to you at my new website which is investorshelp.net. So if you are interested please go to this URL hopefully you can see it I left it here in blue and tell me you're interested. This will take you to a fill-in where you can um, complete the information and click submit and I'll keep a tab of how many viewers how many of my subscribers are interested in receiving a video on how to profit from IPOs. This video you can find at my new website at investorshelp.net slash IPOs dash 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 Joe Grinder HTML. For those of you who haven't uh, recently uh, viewed or gone to my new website, we have approximately 90 videos now available, all currently for free. We have videos of, of interest to all types of investors. Yeah, this is a new one, like I mentioned, on IPOs. We have some on candlesticks. We have some on different uh, investing or trading systems for you. We have a lot of uh, videos on Investor's Business Daily, uh, IBD50. In fact, I was hoping to get an update to the ID 50, IBD50 out today, but it's getting late. It's almost 11 o'clock uh, Sunday night. So I'll maybe try to do that tomorrow. I got a pretty full schedule. Um, the top 50 picks and videos. We have trend following videos uh, follow using Sector Surfer, and we put up many new videos every month. Here's a partial listing of new videos that I put out in October. As you can see, it's quite a variety. Of videos, uh, some on AAII, some on IBD, uh, a lot of them on the IBD meetup group, and that's where you're going to find some information on IPOs, current specific IPOs, and we also have more uh, from the Sunnyvale IBD. This is only a partial listing. I think we had about 19 or 20 videos I put out during the month of October. And also, it looks like I'm going to have a busy schedule putting out videos in November because tomorrow I'm going to go to and record at the AA, American Association of Individual Investors Local Chapter, uh, some videos there. On Wednesday night, I'm holding the Sector Surfer Users Group meeting here in San Jose, and I'll probably do two videos there. On Saturday, we have the Bay Area Money Makers, so I'll be doing a video there. And then the following week, there is some more videos coming up for the Sunnyvale IBD Meetup Group. So I'm going to be putting up a lot more videos in um, November for you guys. I hope you check in and have an opportunity to re review them so you can learn and increase your success in the markets. A few days ago I started a new blog entitled What's New at InvestorsHelp.net. 
So if you have any questions, if you'd like to see leave some comments, please go to my new blog at this URL. You may have to copy and paste that into your browser. Let me know. Um, be sure to let me know if you have any interest in a video, like I mentioned, on generating profit, profits using IPOs, because it's going to be up to you guys if there's not, a mu there's not enough or if there's not a lot of interest in getting a s video on profiting uh, using IPOs, uh, then I'll focus on something else. Also, you can, at, in lieu of asking questions, you can also give me some suggestions on what would you like to see in the future in videos that will benefit you most. I'll be happy to do that for you. So I hope you have a profitable week. Uh, enjoy yourself. Let's make some money in the markets. So this is Joe Grinder from InvestorsHelp.net saying goodnight for now. So long.